<laughs> well, of course, it would have to be the wind blows for forever. We get one day where the leaves are pretty. Yeah. Well, actually, this week we got, or this this time we got a little more than a week. It was nice, but it's our anniversary, so the wind's gonna blow. <laughs> <laughs> so the welcome to. Uh, Season 41 of our wedding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And season six of Trapping Inc. And of course, what do we do on our anniversary? We go on a cruise. Yeah. Um, in the wreck of the Hesperus behind <laughs> us here. Uh, that's That's been the ongoing running joke, but uh, we're happy for you to be here for our, uh, our sixth season entree, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, for those of you who've watched the show before, you might be appreciative of this. <laughs> So Rich likes to dump his phone in the water. Sometimes it's in the early spring, sometimes it's in the fall, but this time he's put it in a Ziploc bag. So hey, you promise not to get it wet this let's, time. Let's go get in the wreck. Now with 40% less leakage, I fixed it this morning. <laughs> Good deal. Trapping is the cornerstone that Canada was built on. Brave and sometimes crazy men and women fueled by the lucrative fur trade explored and mapped our great nation. Hundreds of years have passed since then, but trapping still remains vibrant, strong, and steeped in the ancient traditions. The fur bearers still follow the old paths and live as dictated by thousands of years of instinct. Fur only gets prime in the harsh temperatures of winter and trappers must respect and prepare for the weather. Trapping's past is firmly rooted in history, but today the gear and techniques have changed. Canada is still known for the best wild fur in the world, and today our pelts are sold on the global market. Our community is large, and our numbers are growing. We are trappers. This is what we do, and where we belong. Join us in our adventures. Welcome to Trapping Inc., the face of today's trapper. seen such a thing in your whole life <laughs> two in a foothold I have not ever seen that Wow <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> I I have never ever seen two in a foothold that Wow <laughs> Wow <laughs> that one's the is that cool that is very cool look at this reset they're little, but they're <laughs> there's two of them. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the right spot, hey. Oh yeah, that's a good spot. <laughs> it's like getting a double yoker. <laughs> How often does that? I've never seen that before. I see lots of you know people getting doubles and that in body grips, but I've never seen it in a foothold before. That's a good one for Facebook page. Yeah. And the carrot was eight. And the carrot was eight. Maybe somebody else came along and got the carrot after the other two were caught. 
Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. There we go. <laughs> A double. See. I see the trap's down. Yeah, the trap is down, but that's all I can see. A little bit of other ice, than, huh? Other than the ice. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Yeah. So, what do we got here? The carrot's gone too. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> First rat ski of the day. Yeah, it was the last trap we set yesterday too. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, we were—I <laughs> for, I forgot to bring my uh, carrots with me, so we were scrounging around in the bottom of the canoe for carrots left over from from a couple days ago trip. Yeah. And it was kind of pathetic. You, <laughs> we were not big time trapping 101. No. So we'll. Uh, we didn't even have a lure with us. No, it was kind of one of those, wow, what were we thinking days? Yeah. Got a rat, even with all the ice, huh? I must have got him last night. Oh, I'm sure we did. I'm sure we did. It's supposed to be a nice day today, though, so. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Get a chunk of carrot on here. Set it down. Um, I guess I should put a little bit of... Thought I had a... Stick? Yeah! This for, there it is. This for putting a little schmear on. Added bonus. <laughs> Added bonus for them. Okay, look at that. You can see all the weeds that they've been eating on over here. Yeah. So. It's a great spot. Hopefully that uh, this ice melts out today. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah. Oh, we didn't even lose the carrot. No, sir. The spring clip strikes again. Oh, my goodness. That is a big rat. Mm -hmm. Like holy big ones. cow, we've got big rats over here. Maybe I need to put the the um, big clips a little higher. They're, they're really big. Not like that last place we were. Yeah. Smaller. I don't think. <laughs> Smaller-ish. Yeah, they were quite a bit smaller. Is exactly it.
Scrapping Ink is brought to you by these fine sponsors. At Old Smokes Coffee, we slow roast our coffee over a fire, making it smooth and memorable. You can order a smoked coffee online. Old Smokes Coffee, crafted coffee for the courageous. Halford Hides, unique beyond compare. Everything for the outdoors. You can shop in person or online from our vast catalog. Range Road Enterprises understands hard work. Our products work as hard as you do. See our full line of firewood processors, sawmills, and more at your nearest dealer. We hunt and trap with our Zeiss Conquest V4 and V6 rifle scopes and the new line of rings. Carl Zeiss Sport Optics. Confidence in the toughest conditions. You guys see the rat down there. I don't know whether the camera can see it. Yeah? But... Just trying to get us leaned up against the, the shore here because you're busy filming and I'm busy trying to change out stuff. And the wind makes it extra busy, right? There we go. Little again. I know. That is so strange. Some of those other ones are like three times the size. <laughs> well, and, and, and it's, you know, you make some, something out of nothing basically, but why is it up at the other end of the lake? They were all big and they said they're little. Doesn't make any sense. Like I said, I'm, I'm making something out of nothing, I'm sure. Tomorrow it'll be the reverse. Set this guy right. No. Nope. I would end up being missing it or something, right? Yeah. We were getting pretty frugal on carrots at that point yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I think the last one's right here, isn't it? Yeah. Look at it and see what we got. Well, the carrot's gone. And looks like the trap's gone too. Yeah? Yeah, and it looks like there's a rat down there. You see a rat right down there? I do. Right on. Oh now, see there's the big one. Just when you thought you had it all figured no, out. No, I told you I was, I was making something out of nothing, didn't I? I know. I told you I was. My leg says it, uh, it's a little wet. It says it's time to go uh, dry up going to the next pond, huh? Yep. I guess I should have been wearing my uh, waders, but... You know, it's, it's pretty warm doing that. Mm -hmm. But you do stay dry. <laughs> but you do stay dry. Can't have everything, I guess. Whew, these carrots are getting bad. Not funny. Garden carrots don't last like city, like the uh, store carrots do. Kind of tells you which one's real, huh? Mm. <laughs> All righty. All right, now we can go. Uh, On to the next. Muskrats come in many different shapes and sizes. Um, there's a big one and there's a little one. You can see quite a bit of difference. This one actually weighs a few pounds. Like I wouldn't be surprised if it weighed four pounds or this is much smaller. So most times when you look at size like this, you know, this is an adult, this is a, is a, a juvenile. When you take the fur off, you can tell the difference. So here we go. You see how the one on the side here is mottled? You got mottled spotting in that? That's a, si that's a sign of an adult. The other side, the, the other one here has a very distinct V. Um, that, that is the sign of a juvenile. And it, until they're about a year old, they, they, they mark out like this. I have lots of them I can show you. But... Once again, juvenile. Adult, adult. This one here is hard to look at until you look at this side. Now, prime or not prime? It's a juvenile. Pretty straightforward. Driving Inc. is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Argo Extreme Terrain Vehicles conquer any season, any terrain. See all the new models at your newest dealer. Argo, go anywhere. 
Southland Trailer Corporation makes the Royal Cargo Trailer used by Trapping Inc. Southland Trailer, behind you all the way. Midland Radio helps you stay in touch in the wild. Check out the new X-Talkers at your nearest dealer. Communication for every adventure. Alberta Outdoorsman Magazine. Alberta's only hunting, fishing, and trapping magazine. You can keep up with all the action at trappinginc.com or join our Facebook and YouTube sites. So let's put a rat on the board. Whether you like the, uh, the metal or the wood is strictly up to you. I like the wood for a very particular reason. At one time, it was very important that your muskrat boards met the standards, okay? So they, they had a, a proper taper and all that, and, and you put them on a small board if they're small or a medium or a, or a large. Mine are all medium larges now, and here's why. is because muskrats are all measured on a light table. They just literally toss it down on top of the table, and the computer measures the square inches, and that tells you what size it is. So you could stretch it square if that were, if that were possible. Keeping it to the traditional shape and size, will allow you to, to, to get the, the biggest stretch on it as compared to having it too blunt up here or, or whatever. So I got my board, I got my muskrat, and I built this little piece of stuff. I'm embarrassed to say that I'm a carpenter because now this has been in my first shed for four years and I've never ever improved on it. <laughs> I take it and uh, put my muskrat on here and you can see that I put it on sideways for one thing because there's his eyeball. And the other thing you can see that you can see the fat and that on here, they got fat underneath their armpit in particular. Muskrats are one, uh, probably the only animal that we don't take the saddle off of. Okay? The saddle is very strictly, here and I'll go, you can go close on this. You see this, this little bit of, of meat here? That is the saddle. Okay, I've taken the fat out from underneath his, arm, his armpit. There's fat there, I take that out. But I leave this saddle on. That membrane comes off when it gets tanned. Uh, if we take it off beforehand, that the hide can dry out too much, it can crack, we, we get damaged, we lose, uh, lose our, our uh, grading on them, right? I'm just using what's called a stirrup flusher. Really simple. I start by putting the the rat on sideways, and you can see how, how, how that allows me to work both sides, the armpits and that, that normally would be very close to the edge. And if I run this over here, I, I could actually gouge a hole, and I don't want to do that. So I take and do it like that, make sure that my side is nice and clean. And I take and put them on there the right way. I like to Give them a couple of little shakes down. That's about as tight as they get, is I just do that. Take and give them a shake down. Clean up down on, the, on what's called the skirt here that's down around the bottom edge. And the first thing I do is I take and give them a little tug down on the side because that computer is going to draw a line. It's going to draw a line straight across from side to side and where it corresponds right here. It's going to draw this line across. So you want to keep this as low as you can. Might get you another size. It's hard to say. I do this on the other side here and there's a uh, the vent of course is over here because the way I, I took it off the, the vent stayed on there. Once it dries, I will just take and clip it off, but right now it's really good for really good for sticking a pin in. You recognize this? It's actually a cattail. This is where the where the cattail was, but it makes really good belly board for a muskrat. There we go. Run the belly board up, hang her on the wall. Moving air is probably the best thing for drying them. Uh, if I keep it about uh, 10, 11 degrees Celsius in here, so 50, 51, 52 Fahrenheit, but if I have air blowing on it, this guy be ready to come off the board in four or five hours. <laughs> we got lots of them real close together here because of this. Yeah. Lots of rats everywhere. Smaller guy, but still. Yeah.
little bit of a breeze going on now. This keeps us against this side, that's all. Too high, too low? Yeah, a little lower. Should be lower your sinker. Yeah. Well, that's that. Well, it's 18 today. Uh, you know, uh, yesterday was all about the uh, pulls, and today was all about the floats. The floats, absolutely. The floats was, was where it was at. Yeah. Oh, yeah we got a snail. <laughs> Things you find. Anyway, the wind is just rocking here. Oh my gosh! I think there was white caps on the toilet. Like it's unbelievable how Maybe. bad this is. <laughs> <laughs> We're hiding here. I know the light isn't the best, but we can't step out anywhere else because we, we got to stay hidden in these trees in order for anybody to hear us. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed uh, coming ratting. Uh, hey, I didn't sing. You know I, I didn't sing for you. <laughs> huh? That's okay. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Gonna disappoint all of our fans. Not Don't really. Wanna hear me do some singing. Thanks for being with us. <laughs> we'll see you down the line. <laughs>